Well, the drought is taking its toll on one of the North Shore's most visited state parks. Take a look at this dramatic change. Here's what Gooseberry Falls looked like a month ago. Now this is what the falls look like today. Dry with no more than a trickle of water flowing. That quick change is affecting not only visitors to the area, but wildlife too. KBJR 6's Quinn Gorm tells us what's happening with the falls and when we can expect to see them return to normal. It certainly would be more spectacular if it were not, but it's just part of nature. Visitors to Gooseberry Falls this week have come expecting a beautiful rushing waterfall. What they've been met with instead is nothing more than a trickle of water dripping down a rock wall. We did notice that the, the falls were low. Um, we do run into that from time to time when we're traveling and just figured it was a low you know, rain season. That low rain season actually spans the last year and a half, leaving the Northland under drought conditions. It's also brought waters from the Gooseberry watershed, which flows to the falls, to lows that aren't normal for this time of the year. So the upstream wetlands, as they start losing water levels, there's less water obviously feeding into those tributaries and then less that feeds into the Gooseberry River and obviously then less that comes over our falls. Nick Hoffman, assistant park manager at Gooseberry, says those low levels are now impacting plants and animals in the area. The lower water level can cause some problems for trout species and fish and other aquatic species with the lower places for them to be in and drying up pools can become more of a problem as this drought persists. Hoffman says plants on the banks are also struggling in these dry conditions. As for when water levels could return to normal, Hoffman says the park needs lots of consistent rain before the visitors can expect to see Gooseberry's rushing falls again. It would be better if these rain events were kind of like long in duration, nice long soakers rather than a hard downpour. Hoffman says Gooseberry State Park has still been seeing a steady stream of visitors, but he says the sooner the falls are back to normal, the better for local wildlife.